me touch that specific area abaye unajua na yanajua dio area imezuia aachilie his revelation uh, I, 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 you, you go far you go far amen may god bless so much god keep you now we want to share a message on on uh, areas to clear for blessings sehemu ambazo zatakiwa zitegenezwe zilainishwe kwa ajili ya baraka areas to clear anaweza kuweka dash for blessings areas to clear dash for blessings now brothers and sisters unapooba na kuishi kuna kitu kimoja nataka kuambia nataka tungangane mpaka tutokee are you ready for that tungangane mpaka tukto tutokee si vizuri kuassume mambo ni mema wakati si mema sio vizuri kuassume kwamba ni kuzuri when you are not living right si vizuri kufikilia kwamba ume, umefunikwa eh, na baraka when you are begging brothers and sisters katika jina la Yesu kuna kipimo cha Mungu na kuna maoni ya watu na kwa sababu ya vile tunaishi watu wengi tunaishi kwa maoni you know sometimes i don't know hello praise god look at this issue hello praise god <laughs> prophets 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 nabii kama elijah nabii kama elisha akitokea hakutokea na neno linalofanana na weakness ya mtu alitokea na neno si la kufariji udhaifu wa mtu alitokea na neno la kuondoa udhaifu are you understanding mwanamke ambaye alikuwa anadaiwa you know that story in second kings chapter 4 uh, mume wake amekufa mama mwenye alikuwa na deni mwenye ali, alikuwa na dai mume wake amekuja baada ya mzee kukufa na amechukua watoto wake wawe watumwa you know when prophet came he solved the problem not to console the issue huduma nyingi ambao tuko nao in most cases kwa sababu ya kutokuomba sana the only message we have ni kufariji peke yake but let me tell the truth if we go deeper tutafariji na tutakuwa na neno la kukobozi we will comfort you and also we have a word of deliverance dani ya mungu kuna pahali kuna njia tusipoomba the only thing tutaambia mtu pole vumilia tusipoomba sana the only thing tutaambia mtu hiyo ni hali ya mai ya maisha tusipoomba sana the message takuwa naye ni kuambia mtu sasa jipe moyo tusipoomba sana which is not which is not bad ujumbe ambao tutakuwa naye ni kuambia mtu hii mambo hutokea hayo mambo napitia hutoke hutokea but if we go deeper if we go deeper we will solve issues we will solve issues utajipata unaongea kama nabii Elisha unasema kesho saa kama hii ungo atapatikana haleluya utajipata unaongea kama Elisha unaambia mtu hiyo unga na hiyo kibaba wakati wote kutakuwa na jaa Israel kutakuwa na jaa Kenya wewe utakura na utabariki watu wenu na utabariki kanisa there is a word somewhere not for, a word for clearness deliverance kuna mambo kadhaa ambao we need to clear ambao ni ya maana sana let me first of all ni, ni kuambia kwamba watu wengi tunazaliwa katika mazingira fulani one thing i've noticed we need to be delivered. Unaona vile Batimayo alikuwa anakaa kando ya barabara. Si ni kweli? Hiyo ndio maisha dunia ngempa. Lakini unaona maisha ya Yesu kumkoboa. Alipotoa kando ya barabara, akaja kwa Yesu, aliponywa macho, akatebea katikati ya barabara. Hear this. Hii maisha ya Batimayo kuponywa macho, alafu anatebea na ngine kwa barabara, hiyo ni product of deliverance. Nani angetoa batimayo kando ya barabara? Amalizie vitu bili, umaskini na upovu. You see, hello praise God. Kwa ukawaida katika natural life, batimayo ugempa chakura. Batimayo ugempa hardcore chief. 
Bati mayo ugempa kiatu Bati mayo ugempa chapatu wakati wa Christmas Kawaida But there is another life that Christ can produce Toka kado brabara Pata kuona tembea Na wengine Hallelujah Now We would like to remove you Kando ya brabara Kwa ukawaida bo mezoya kama bati mayo I want to announce to you there's another life. Iko, iko, iko. I tell you this. Can you hear this? Iko, 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 sana. Now let, let me tell you. Something has happened. Mimi si jari vika. Paka nitakapa ona nyote muna karama zinatenda kazi. Kuna unabi. Miracles are happening. And number two, you are millionaires and billionaires. Mimi si jari vika. Tutasukumana na kama usiki tukuacha pahali parking tukurudie yes I believe with all my heart kwamba na ezaitaji kununua basi ya kanisa weo toe million, 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 million how to apatie basi wanunue how to apatie sasa eh, mujeko tusama tuna mujeko wa million the manini how pande hii wa jenge na pande hile sasa praise the lord amen tuwapatia idara ya missions about tunayenda kufuka kaisa Mombasa within one Sunday results kwa kwa meza that's the joy of the Lord this church and it must happen friends it must happen katika majira haya yetu hatu teda binguni paka tuwane this glory tutambisha mirango ya mbingu until kama kuna mirango mebaki ufunguke na mapendwa ni na waonya hii hali ya kuvujika moyo hii hali ya kuwa su yani una hakuna kitu unafanya hakuna bidi uko naye hakuna mbi uko naye mtaacha because one of the things the devil is using is to reduce you so much kukuvuja moyo sana kwamba hakuna bio uko naye if the devil can store you amalize bio amalize fujo amalize bidida ni yako amekuweza si kitu ambao utafikiri demonic vile unaona unaamuka una bidii hauna bio hauna nini weza fikiri kuchoka no these days shetani apige watu na mawe hapana what the devil is using ni mambo ya kiakili ambao usipo baba nua ni issue do you know unaweza ka ahoya you look very busy lakini hakuna kitu umefanya. Hakuna ukiulizwa like na wale tulikuwa 2021. Uniadikie ni watu wagapi ulihubilia wakaokoka wakabatizwa. 2021 ni nini ulifanya ukasema na hii na hii nilitimiza. Uta utashaka in most cases ni kuishi uliishi. <coughs> you live through the year. Ni kuishi ulifanya nini? Uliishi. Lakini this church we must go beyond kuishi. Are you, are you hearing this? Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why there are things to clear friends for blessings. One thing we need to clear. You need to establish an altar in your life. An altar in your life that speaks. Madhabahu katika mtu ambaye ameokoka ni hivi Amen <laughs> Habari yenu Ukiangalia kitabu cha Biblia wakati wakati there are two areas maybe you can start later but I just want to touch them very quickly Kitabu cha Judges chapter 6 unaona an issue to do with altar katika nyumba ya baba wa Gideon Ukienda pia katika First Kings chapter uh, chapter 18 unaona pia an issue to do the altar wakati Elijah anarejesha madhabahu iliyoharibika. Let's see one of them or maybe two the zote mbili kwa haraka. Ukienda katika Judges uh, chapter 6 wakati Gideon aliramika kwamba familia yao ndio maskini sana katika kabila la Manase. I don't know kama Gideon alielewa but it is true. Ukiangalia assignment ya kwanza ya Gideon aliambiwa usiku aamuke. Aende katika nyumba ya baba yake. Na atakapoenda huko 
Aha, va, ukisoma Judges chapter 6 verse 25 utaona kwamba ikawa usiku huo huo Bwana akamwambia mtwae ngombe uh, wa baba yako yani ngombe wa pili wa miaka saba ukayangushe madhabahu ya bali alionayo baba yako Do you see that verse verse 25 Tuka pamoja Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. You, you, you see ukiangalia katika ukirudi nyuma kidogo. Where the verse 15. Inasema akamwambia, "E hey, Bwana, nitawaokoaje Israeli kwa jizi, kwa Israeli kwa jizi gani? Tazama jamaa. Jamaa means family. If a jamaa, jamii, afiki jamii ni society. Jamaa ni family. Jamaa zangu diyo walio maskini sana katika manase. Jamaa, our family. Diyo maskini sana katika manase. Note the first impediment. The first blockage. The first challenge. Jamaa. Jamaa zangu eh, is the weakest in manase. And I'm the least in my father's house. But if you go to verse 25 anaambiwa wewe enda ukaangushe madhabahu ya bali aliyo nayo baba yako nani akala madhabahu haya aliyo nayo baba yako huyu kiongozi wa hiyo nyumba yenu huyu kiongozi wa hiyo clan yenu huyu kiongozi wa hiyo nyumba yenu baba yako he has an altar ambao bible munga sema it is niake he possessed that nia ya lijenga, nia na miriki. Endo kangushe, madhabahu ya bali, alio na yo, baba yako. Hallelujah. Now, mbeo sema hivi. Ukaikate ashera, ile alie ilio karibu na yo. Ukamjege buwana mungu wako. Can you hear this statement? The Lord, you are God. You see, Baba yake Gideon ni mtoto wa baba. Na concern kubwa ni kwamba Gideon ni member wa hii family. Na hii family ndio maskini sana, ndio the weakest. You know jina weakest means it is, it is even unajua kuna mtu maskini na ako na hodari. Weakest means in all ways we are just weak, poor, weak. Hatuna sauti sisi. But now the issue is go Kwa hiyo nyumba ya baba. Ukaangushe madhabahu ya bali alio nayo. Amen. Which means your dad is not a worshipper of Jehovah. And now like Gideon, you are God who is me to take over that house. Na anapo ambiwa ukaondoe madhabahu ya bali alio nayo baba yako. If you check the next statement, now can it tegeneze, uka tegeneze madhabahu ya buwana mugu wako. Si buwana mugu wa baba yake, buwana wa buwana mugu wako. The Lord, you are God. Haya, agaria ni sasa. Upado wa baba ni bali, eh? alikuwa na madhabahu ya bali na niyake, alio nayo. Nawe Gideon ukona bwana mungu aliye mungu wako. Baba yako ako na bali diye mungu wake. Nakini wewe Gideon una Jehovah diye mungu wako. Na kwa sababu sasa umecomplain na your family is the weakest. Na Gideon hallelujah. Amen. Anabwa hivi. Kwa maana unaza bio ya kwenda kuangamiza Midianites. Kuna madhabau itaanza kuongea. You know God realized katika akili ya Gideon. There is an altar speaking. The altar of the clan. The altar of the family. Na mungu hataki Gideon asonge mbele akifuato na sauti ya madhabahu ya baba yake ya bali. Anataka aedi ya kijua. Mahali ni mezaliwa. I have replaced the wrong altar with the right altar. Amen. Let me tell you something, friends. Nikataka kwa tumakwenu. 
Do you know what is happening? Most people are followed. You know, Okijapa last day to Rotwe Gans to Rambea. Last time to Rambea, about 120. And I thank God. Out, out of 120, Utapata Hamsini, Waliokoka, Wokovwa Kweri. People are not saved. They have to get saved. You know, somebody tells you, Nimeokoka, Niombe, Natamani Kuolewa, Nimekua na Manafiki, Wananiacha, Wagapi Kumi, Unakuta, Kira Manaume Huyo, Amerana, eh, Adieta Miokoka. You know, I give God praise when I receive news from all over. Amen. I thank God for the difference. See, Mana Moja Ubili, Wa Mama, Sigo Mothers. I may be a bishop, come leo. Bishop, unajua he. My case was serious. Nripo jua kwamba nataki wakwenda binguni. Kuna wengine liyachani ya hapa. <laughs> Butu wa mekunja na muke, atende wa bariki. Huu ametupa muke wake. Huu ametupa, huu nae, ame, ametupa wawiri. Atende wa bariki. Ha! Atende nani ya bariki uchafu kama huo. Tulirarua mzuri. Kupigia bawa kazi ya bishop. Mimi nimegudua. Nimetumiwa vipaya. Suri tuwabia. Nilimuambia ede. Tikashu uiji. Tunaijiri vwana haija hubiriwa. Because most pastors have a jari. They just want to sadaka. And if you check wakija. And that's why I am so careful. These people come. Na, as, in is the bill. Yeshiri gafushirini. Tubaliki. Nambia pana. And I tell them, wamezoea kuperekea hobiri pesa wanachukua. Now, you know, in this church, I don't take money. Because niki kuombea, si mimi, si guvu yangu, mimi ni bishop wa kanisa. Nambia, hii pesa yote itaeda kwa madhabahu sandi. They are seeing a different approach. Because pastors, na, na imekua issue even in our church, tunangabia, don't take money into your pocket. Kwa mano meombea mtu. Amen. Hallelujah. Kwa kusama bishop na wana leo mechoka. Uko na kiu tafadhali. Yataka mapea kanisa. Igiri bili. Igiri bili kunyo maziwa. Nisa kunyo wa iweka hapo. Praise the Lord. Lakini wezi pewa shukurani. You know, you can't pray for somebody. No, pewa shukurani. No, no, no. Nisa mungu. Amen. Now, 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 now. Listen carefully. Hallelujah. One thing I've noticed. Watu hufu, watu na sauti. Amba wezi ya puka. Right here as I speak. Kuna watu hapa. Kide kina kusubua. Ni kitu kina kufuata from behind. Unakuta kama umeolewa. Let me give example. Kuna kisi toke hapa one time. Samani sana. I think 1938. A couple came from somewhere. Hawapati watoto. Na wanisubua jameni. Bishop. Ongea na mungu. Ah, nikasema nitaongea. Saki kapia mungu. Mungu now. Speak to me. You know, God told me. Ni waliza swali. Ni waliza wea madam kujeni. Saa tisa usiku saa nane usiku hapo. Nini hutedeka bedroom yenu. Mama kasema. Mimi. Hushukiwa na mwanaume. Ambaye sijua natoka kwa wapi kwa hewa. Anani rape. Paka asubuhi. Na mse, hushukiwa na mwanamuke ananirepu. Spirit wives, spirit husbands. Bwana kaniambia, how do you amawafunga? Tukafunga siku tatu. Tukalani hiyo zogome. Wakakobolewa. Mama kapata miba. What was following them? Mother Bahu. Wao ni waluya. Sipa waluya ni wambaya. Waluya, waluya muko. Si wabaya. Waluya. Si, si wabaya. Dada alipo obewa. Family abawa aliperekwa ariabo ifame mtu akiolewa uki, kuna dhabihu ingine ya kifamili na hiyo vitu wengine ambao umefanyiwa dhabihu ya kifamili akaitiwa mtu akabo huyu ndio hutoa dhabihu za family ndio uwe wa iboma akapakwa vitu akapakwa akabo ya deni sasa wewe umeingia from that point wamekuwa wakishukiwa na my spirit husbands you see you are followed by an altar. Amen. 
I spoke to somebody in California. Relocated to California, never changed anything. That lady is as poor. Kabisa. Ah, ah, ah. Aku America, kaze ni nyingi, akiajiriwa tu anavutwa. Begging for money in California. Na ilianza hapa. Hapa alikuwa hapa. If you that altar followed there. Abali yenu, praise God. Let me example. In a family, ukisikia and you know a member of your family is a devil worshiper. Please do not allow it. Kuja tungangane, tuwagamiza yukome. These people are dangerous. Haya, they are really dangerous. They are really dangerous. Mimi record about nikonazo hapa bado kuwabea watu. They are dangerous. No kiwa kwa nyumba yenu una mtoto au uko na brother au sister about ni suspicious. Please tuobe tumsukume mpaka tujue. Atokea vizuri. These people are dangerous. They are dangerous. I tell they are dangerous. Programs ingino wakonazo. Oh, 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 oh. Moja niombea vika. Alipo kobra walisema. Alito analysis. Akasema show show. Where do you go kufa next month? My cousin, where do you go kufa mwaka mwaka uja wa January? She had a program ya kama three years ya kuwa watu kalibu sita. Na wange kufa kwa jia mbao huu kesema ni yeye. Moja aguka kwa bafu, mwingina ni kansa, mwingina ni accident. Vitu wabu hezi fikiri na alikuwa mepanga. Na isema, true ready mewezwa. She was so deep kwa ba haku wanakunywa maziwa. Satanist amba wanakuta hanywi maziwa na nyama. Oh, they are deep. No matter they are deep because no matter, iyo ni sign buyer. Hea haku wanakura. Sasa lipo kumborewa, nikakuta kwa meza ni mwekewa maziwa na nyama. Nikasema, ebu kunywa hii kwa sa. Ali kunywa yangu wakamaliza. Nikasema, sinume kunywa, I'm delivered today. And the other day that lady called me, Bishop, I'm the one who was delivered. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you imagine? Ni muambea three years ago. By now, ake kuwa meuwa tu sita kwenye mba yao. Cousins, grandparents, na wazazi wake. Now the way they are killed, mwawezi fikilia. Wezi fikilia. Wezi fikilia. Amen. Utakuta moja, amekufa na klot. Klot matokea tu, imemua klot. Vitu wapo wezi fikilia. Mwingine, ali teresa kwa bafu. Mwingine labda uh, alieda hospitali akiwa si mgojwa akazidiwa hospital and maybe at the hospital those people are there Unaacha mtu jioni alikuwa mgodi unaumia unaambia mlipoondoka you know have you ever that stories mlipoondoka ja kifo ile haribika you wonder how breathing kwenda kumwangalia kwa ICU hapo mwi Things that are so technical and medical kwaba huwezi fikia ni za kiroho ni za ni za kiroho and that's why ni mwapo kuambia hivi katika Kristo nataka mahali umetoka na ni mato we clear that issue have you ever thought kwaba atokie dabio ina gani kama una brother yako mwenda wazimu kama una mama yako ambao ni mchawi that that thing haish kwa akili ato kibru crusaid ukimkubuko na shidwa god i put this way and my mother is still which na msiogope ha huu sit where sit where you go you know i thank god kuna dada wetu moja our our best maid is a mighty evangelist. Kabla haja olewa alikuwa na makanisa tatu kubwa. Kirinyaga. And uh, tulipo kuwa mazishi ya, ya baba, ya Reverend Jagi. Even the one Juana, they are put together in those early days that focus on full gospel. One thing I didn't ambia ni kuwa ba, kirugoya kulikuwa na mchawi mkubwa sana. How my MP wa kirugoya madiyog chairman wa kanu Sandi, walikuwa wanajaa kwa jubayo mchawi. Na walikuwa wanaeda wakua uchi. Na wanaigia na rivers. Yes, asa huu dada likuwa mana youth, but finally, finally, 
Wajua wakati wa revive hako hata wanajua nini. Yeye alikuwa na ubiria watu hata haja kuwa pasta. Umeokoka kwa maji, anabatiza wewe hata hata agojee ubadilishe guo. You know there was a move of God about miaka 70s. Wakati tulikuwa kuna revival tokea ya vijana, Holy Ghost eh, invasion ya hali ya juu. Sasa yeye one Sunday akaamua haya ni kanisa ataenda huko. Na ameumba. Nikitaka mwe hivyo jamani. There are altars to be removed in the Lord. In the Lord. Unakuta MP wa Kirogoya ako huko. Dio ako huko. Cha person wa Madrid na wake wako huko. Sadi hawaji kanisa. Sasa alienda. He akaingia kwa burago. Akaboa we si utoe guo ndio mtu alikuwa anaingia akiwa uchi aniambia alipata akiwa uchi kaa watu na akaboa badrika ingia kwa rivers about turn rivers sasa yeye yako badri ah sama pana and she started walking direct to the witch walking straight away what does ama oi Mwaire tu angadia bosi watakufia huku alipokaribia mchawi alimwambia in the name of Jesus I destroy him. a tiny girl destroying a mighty witch in Kirogoya a witch alianguka nyuma akaza kutapika you know what happened aliondoa kiti ya witch akasimama akaambia watu wote vae ni nguo na hapo akaanza kanisa Hello. You see there are things to be done if blessings are to flow. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. That's why I'm talking about the altar. So many altar. Mahali umetoka, which altar follows you? Mahali uliolewa au ulioa. Do you know even in laws can affect you? Yes. Ule muko umeoa ni damu yao. There's a link in the blood. No na kuta father in law or mother in law or sijui and whatever. They can affect. Kuna manda unaoa lakini you realize kwao kwao missing yako. She is followed by na na noma unakuta muke ambao umeoa kuna laana ya kwao na kuna mambo inamfuata lakini hawe hajui no kijaribu kuguza anasema unaingilia watu wetu you know there are those issues unasema my dam there is something wrong unasema unaingilia watu wetu you know sikuizi mna siasa sana wa mama unaingilia watu wetu mimi ninaingilia kwa wenu hello badaya tuungane to get the truth because deliverance requires truth tuasema ni kuingiliana and Another thing si mama ndi alipata miba akazaa watoto wako watoto wenu watoto, watoto, they still link ya watoto na wale but the mo, the same with the men utakuta mali umeolewa <laughs> siku hizi kumekuwa na issue eh si utakuta mume wako aliyekuoa hutawaliwa na mama yake ne mama yake Dia hutawara baba father in law mali uliolewa hakuna mwanaume anaongeaga tuzee tuliwezwa including your husband unakuta jioni mnapika <laughs> hello bless god mume anaulizwa na huyu mwanamke uliowa hata huitu uheshimiwe huitu atemuke wake na huyu mwanamke uliowa amekupikia nini leo eh managu na kike naunga mtama kwani mjika na wanaoga kwani mjika kiasi gani kesho nakuja huko na si there's a problem there's a problem hello praise god na no, unajua siku hizi kuharibu hizo vitu it's it because ukiambia okay, mke wako we need to team up these people there's a problem sema hapana ingilia watu wetu hapana ingilia dadi kwani 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 mimi naingilia mambo ya kwen ikitoka simu zao naacha neno maneno then you discover si watoto wakiwa wakubwa tena kwa shosho wengine si ndio si watoto wa kazi that's how things are becoming unakuta haya watoto wako waweza tembelea watoto wa brother your family si ni cousins 
only to discover there's things going on. Things going on. Things going on. Things going on. Things that you don't know what to, how, how to do about them. Unakuta binti yako abao getaka ananeo na madhabahu mapia. Ananeo na madhabahu ya inlozu. You notice there's something wrong. E family. Ah, uh, ulevi na bagi mezidi. Can we now address this altar? Hamtaki. Hey, apana, apana, apana. Please. Amen. Mokiza watoto nakuta imengia kwenu. Things to clear for real blessings. Things to clear. To clear. Gido ni abuwa nawa. Before you go for mission. Kuna madhabahu nataka isi kufuate. Enda kwa nyumba baba yako. Baba yako ana, ana madhabahu ya mungu na itua bali. Actually the Bible says ni sanamu ya baba yako. Your dad possesses that altar and that idol. Enda uyangushe. Na juu yake I like the way the Bible says. Tegeneza na wewe madhabahu ya mungu wako. In other words, Gideon ata usiobe ruhusa ya anybody. Ata eda usiku wakati baba merara. Akia muka kute, there's replacement. There's, di, wait, there's displacement and replacement. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, you know, Gideon kama ageda wewe baba, si tuodoa hii, si agekibizwa. Ake Aisema na noyo, Ikifika mambe ya madhabahu yangu, don't beg anybody. Enda uangushe. Let baba akiamuke, akiamuka, akieda kutuwa the bill, akute sasa the altar is different. Amen. Na apate, no na apate keteza sanamu ya bali. Don't ask any permission. And I now say brothers and sisters, we are not, we don't require any permission Kufa mia nyumba mahali tumetoka. Mahali wanaabudu masanamu. Mahali, my God, my God. Something should happen. You know, I, I admire there's a brother Naito Warui. He's, he's in America. And I, 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 I wish what was going on. He came all the way from America. The bishop, I know something will follow me there. And we had... Uh, we had any, you know, I like, things are good. Sister Zaked, you are hapa, bishop, wali pata hapa ni meomba, I had come here for prayer from, wakati kwa nakaa kemadhi, nyi muna kwa karibu, you used this order. I used to come here, saa tisa, na mba mpaka, asubu isa kuminambili. So they found me, like bishop, we realize kwetu watu olewi. To call the kama anoint. Tulifanya aruzi zao, zimefuatana ine. Ni moja tu yada pefa. They discovered. Brother Howard, he book and America, your bishop, there's something. Kwamba nyumbani, baba yao, aliwalaani, na wakacha na msazi. You know, the bishop, Christmas, afadhali kuja. We went there. They were all there. Baba, he, baba, he come kari. He said, bishop, he kama haita rekebishwa. Our children, I said, our children may not go far. Nilihingia nyubani mbwana. Nikaigia mahali mbwana na kaa. Halikuwa melala. Kaya baba, nimekuja. Kaya, oh, bishop, I know you. Baba, nimekuja. Kitabo. Nikuwa nimeomba. Kitabo tuwaka kwa bishop. Ningetaka kuwa koka. Muzea kwa koka. Kumaliza ata kabla. Sija muambia kwa bishop. Can I say something? Walio inje. Ni watoto wangu hii. Na wajukura nini Waambie Mambo yote ni kwa nimeongea machafu Na jia zote za kisheta ni kwa nazo Zimeisha na nimewasame Akasema nitoe hapo inje ni wabaliki Do you know muzee hako kama wezi moja Aliaga But we destroy that That family now is fraught by blessings Amen You know when I hear brother You know things happen they were called Bishop or something, yes. Now I have a transport company and a safiri. You know, things started happening. The other day, the other Kikoko, Mwanya Makema, Nikakuta, all these sisters, Wakona Mandoma Kupa. I prayed for about five shops. 
Waacha kuacha mambo hivyo hivyo. Mm, hata kama ni kubaya kisi ya kiasi gani. We are not begging anything. I say friends, things to be cleared for blessing to for people. This altar must be depressed. Na hallelujah. Dio Gideon akienda akiri consciously or unconsciously or subconsciously. This man knows the altar in our family is different. The altar speaking in my father's house. Amen. Ni altar ya baraka. Na pia that altar pia na nifuata katika vita. Ni kingia ndege ina nifuata. We don't know to hear kwamba. Hey, wapendwa. Ati watoto wako wakisoma. Ha watoto tutawana wataisha. Sikiza. That language must be removed in our houses. Some of you ata siyo badi nuclear family brother yako anakutafuta. Sister yako ni mchawi. Na mama yako hufuata that sister. Hatuendi kuauliza anything. Na kama hiyo hujua how to do nione. Nasikia niko na hiyo roho ya, ya vita. Twende with and we face them. Kuna ndugu mmoja hapa niambia kwao kuna shosho mchawi na anytime anataka kuua anaua kitaka so people are avoiding kwenda nyumbani akikuona tu ukose mkosane anasema wewe akisema hivyo we keep bid umeisha umekufa nikaambia brother shogwe eh. ha kwani yani nani nikasikia roho ya daudi ile upako wa daudi ausa god yangu ni nani <laughs> you know who is she Tulifuka hapa siku ine. Nikaambia brother goja tu tuvuke wiki ingine. The following week nikaambia brother before ni kanyage huko. Endo muambie that says the Lord our coke our kufe. Mimi sijasikia Mungu ameongea language so judgmental. Tell her to get saved or God you kill her. No si openda. Wewe utakufa brother. Unajaza walikuwa uki Weenda wewe ndio uki ukuo. Brother alienda kaambia asaba bwana shosho okoka ukuve alafu sababu akatoroka ndio <laughs> shoshwa sioge bengine and i told the truth shoshwa alikataa kuokoka within 2 3 days aliaga si atukua mtu ni mungu mungu ano mungu ni muaji kama mjui unamwita mungu wa neema ana uso mwingine amjajua eh unajua jiji ni kegoda isema eh mume mwenye mwe no shoke <laughs> ni muaji bwana anaua anaua watu 2000 kitu jangwani wa Musa kiona na Musa na bwa don't worry ndo hata msia hata wacheni huko twende 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 hako unajua anawaua hakuna muda wa morning na safari inaendelea Mungu ni Mungu wa uzima wa milele na Mungu pia ni muwa Mwambie baba na kushukuru bwana wewe ni Mungu wa neema baba pia wewe ni Mungu ni muaji <laughs> Ah kwa maana ukifika pahala apapo you are so rebellious mpaka hata ni kama unachezea Jehova Jehova atachomoa uso mwingine naomba msipate uso mwingine kwa maana yaweza kuwa uko hapa na uso mwingine na kusubua the other side of Jehovah. So that one is very important. Bana sana. Kikigina ambacho we need to destroy for blessings. In itwa rebelliousness. Rebelliousness ni kuasi mungu. Kuasi nini? Mungu. Unapata kwa jia about watu hawa elezei. There is rebelliousness in families. In life. Unapata Jehovah anasema twende hivi kwa jia ambao labda watu wafikiri wanaenda kinyume unakuta mtu have you ever known this check your families unakuta wasichana wakiwa wasichana they were all saved kufika miaka teenage they were fornicated unakuta huyu anakatoto alizaa huyu aliaguka huyu aliaguka huyu alianguka and then you wonder kwani Mkuu asichana Yesu ni bwana. Ikifika miaka ya teenage, miaka kama 20 years age, unakuta hakuna mtu ambaye 
alifauru kukaa kwa utakatifu wote walianguka sasa wakuta akambia nilianguka ni karudi na wewe nilianguka ni karudi eh na let me tell you there is no way mtu wa kuaguka akarudi na mtu wa kukaa abaya hakuaguka moja ni original mimi si original moja ni matokeo ya repair mwingine ni original there is no way kiti ya repair <laughs> eh? na original istafanana huyu utakuta kwamba huyu as long as anaishi utaona mahali ambapo alikuwa ameumia jambo lingine mtu ambaye hajaaguka original trust uka vile Mungu alikuaminia ali neema anakuaminia bila taswishi mtu ambaye alianguka Mungu hakuamini neema kabisa Vasa nakuta mtu kama alikuwa na karama ya uponyaji karama ya unabi hazirudi hiyo grace ya gift hairudi Agani record ya masujaa wa imani walioanguka hata siku hizi utapata furani alikuwa na 74 anaponya ajabu lakini kuna mahali alijichafua hasikiki akawa na hubiri ni kawaida jamaa habari kwa na macrosed all over mpaka dunia inatikika hiyo gift haikuru kuaminiwa neema tena ni problem and therefore friends mungu hata kama mungu ni neema si mungu abaye ni mjinga ameja hekima praise the lord and that's why one of the issues we need to solve is rebelliousness mtu kuasi nani mungu utapata hiyo roho ya kuasi mungu ni kitu abacho huzuia baraka sana tulibel ni kila wakati kwenda kinyume unajipata wakati wowote uko kinyume na sauti ya Mungu. Na ni kitu inaanza kwa jia tatu au nzeme bili. Kuna vile mtu ambaye ameokoka ni mtu wa kuasi Mungu na hajui. Ni bego inaanza porepo. For instance, ulikuwa unaingia ibada saa 12 asubuhi. Ukaanza kuchelewa. Ukaanza kuchelewa. Ukaanza kuchelewa. Hiyo jambo ikajiunda ikajiuda siku hizi unakutaka ibada saa tano. Kwako si hiyo issue. But there's a way begu ya kuasi Mungu inakuwa introduced na inakana wewe na hujui and yet unasema napenda Mungu. Ulikuwa haukosi kesha. Siku hizi like no wazee wengi hata mama wengi kukuwa na kesha unakuta melala. Kuna mmoja nipige sababu ya dugu habari yako e, umerara e. nini nimechoka sana. Kabia, nataka kazi, e, nataka kazi. Amuka kibia pale fulani. Nimekulipa, akaamuka. Tu sa. You see that is the kind of thing. And yet anataka kera, anataka aponywe. Anataka ainuliwe. Anataka unabii mfuate. Unaona hiyo kitu? Huingia mtu pole pole even the church. There's a way weza kuwa hata church elder, weza kuwa leader, weza kuwa mtu amekaa church a lot of years. Lakini kuna roho ya kuasi iligia. Porepo. Bereni huko kosa home church meeting au fellowship ya Monday. Ulikuwa na kosa oh god, squeeze ata ato kika miezi sita husikii anything. That thing kwa jia bo huelewi, bereni za Mungu ni shida kubwa sana. The things muri agree na Mungu ukaanza kuharibu kuna hiyo level of the bread. Ni pressure zingine ile direct. Mtu ameharibika. Uko na roho ambayo inapinga mapenzi ya Mungu. Liberiousness number 3 ni wewe na madhabahu. Wiki hii tulikuwa na mkutano mkubwa sana Muranga. Makanisa yetu ya Muranga juu Abadea na makanisa yetu ya Moranga chini makuyu kwenda mpaka embu we had met a big meeting you know why siku moja nilienda conference yao nikainua mikono ni wabariki jova akaniambia hawezi barikiwa akaniambia hao watu kuna mtumishi wangu alitesa 
I later came to discover Bishop Macharia was their bishop. Na walimtesa sana akitoka huko. Wale mnajua, walim kuna viongozi walimtesa. Na mimi sikujua nilipo abona Mungu hivyo nikakutana na bishop wetu nikasema sema hivi Bishop Katimu I wish watu wa idea fulani wangekumbuka waniite tu ninue mikono juu yao. Nikamwambia wapendwa so that meeting was there. Nikamwambia bishop inua mikono same hao watu na wabariki. It was a big meeting. Kuna watu ambao munda mrefu wewe umekosana na mtu aliyetiwa mafuta na watu wajuage hivi hello praise god unajua hiyo kitu na, mimi unisumbua mimi sikisi shughuliki nikisikia walikuwa wananichagenya hainishu but what has happened just check in the border na ninukia hata huko hata kama shughuliki wanaisha munga niambia ni, i start to forgive people bwana kanibena no 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 anybody bishop anakuinukia ainukia mafuta kwa maana kama ingekuwa ni wewe ikekuwa personal differences una deni ya mtu mtu na ikania tia shida na for that time mr kujua nani ananipenda nani anipendi huko nilitoka sasa mahali imefika ni kwamba nani ataka baraka nani ataka laana that's the issue bwana inuliwe sana and that's why nikija kwako hata kama sina fair hata kama niko na jaa ukose kunipikia hutaona hiyo kitu kinisumbua hapana hainisumbui ukipika sawa usipopika sawa hello praise god ukilichukia sawa ukilipenda sawa mambo yote sasa ni Mungu hii maisha ya kuishi na wahuduma wahuduma hiyo tu mafuta alafu una roho fulani ya kuinukia na nini yani unaona kuna mahali ulikana na mchungaji ukiulizwa maovu yake hakuna lakini ulimwingilia na ukaribu watu kuna wakati ulikuwa na muda kukaa na mtumishi wa Mungu akisema by the way do you know utakosana na mtumishi kwa jia pili leo nikisema wapendwa kesho kesho jioni mjitolee tuje tuombe unijua sikuiti biashara yangu i am spokesman of jehovah ukose kuja is an issue hello bless god Mutumishi wa Mungu alipanga na wapendwa kesho jioni muje tuobe unakaa tu kwa nyumba siku hizi mnaanga siku mnaona kumkumu au sichenzo sora inaitwa inaitwa why when you suppose those things we will really affect your family that's what the family is in unakuta kuna roho iliingia kwako through you unaambia binti yako amka uombe haobi there's a spirit introduced hello praise god have you ever known just check families in the church families jambo lingine ambao linahusu rebelliousness ni kutumikia mungu na roho safi unaweza kuwa unapaguza hizi viti lakini unapaguza na roho ya kuramika hiyo pia itakuletea shida unaweza kuwa unaongoza kanisani lakini unaongoza unavyo unaweza ongoza watu alafu nakaa chini na mke wako mnawasegenya siku hizi hawa watu wananiheshimu those things you don't do them don't do that usifanye kazi ya Mungu na moyo usio msafi hiyo ni sehemu moja ya, ya rebelliousness na those things ili rebelliousness ikiwa solved unaona nyumba yako ina uhuduma uliona moyo msafi amen unakana wadugu na wadada and they are sincerely brothers and sisters hauna uchafu wa moyo utabarikiwa lakini ukihudumu ukiwa katika siri yako wanichukia wanukia fulani utaona unakaa miaka na miaka nisani lakini baraka zinakupita deal with your rebelliousness kuasi kuasi another level sasa ina but five ya kuasi Mungu ni kutii tamaa unakosa kutii roho wa Bwana unakuta as you grew up kuna tamaa ndani yako iliinuka 
Unakuta kuna mtu alia, mtu ambaye alikuwa uh, you must bet mwingine ni bereni huko na kasirika ikaanza na ukati ukafuta hiyo roho. Bereni huko wewe bereni huko unakula sadaka. Bereni huko unakosa ibada. Bereni huko haya sikiza as you grew up as you grew up kuna mambo ya kimwili ilitokea ambao hukuzuia. Either matendo au nia there is an attitude. Dani yako haikuwa kwa bereni. Ni kitu kilimea pore 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 an attitude fulani ambao hukuwa naye na ikakoma. Ikakoma. Bwana sio sana. Ni kitu hukuwa mtu wa hasira ilipotokea hukuipinga. Hukuwa mtu wa kutamani wanawake ilipotokea hukuipinga ato liaza na msiana kazini huku wa mtu wa tamaa ya wafurana we ni mama siku hizi kumeharibika sana baba halo bwana sana unajua mwingine nyinyi mimi najua sababu i deal with people i deal with people i have unakuta huu ni mke ameolewa lakini ako na kijana boyfriend Huu ni single mother. Haikuweko. Ulitebea na mama fulani wakakuabukiza. Things that never existed lakini as you grew up ilitokea. Shetani alipokujaribu akaona huipingi ikamea vizuri. Bereni haukuwa mnakana mke wako mnabishana. Ilitokea tu na hakuna mtu aliipinga imemea sasa rebelliousness ya mambo that eh yalitokea as you grew up ya kimwili ambao hamuku ya zima amen bwana asifiwe sana to go with the glory bereni ungechukua pesa ya mtu siku hizi in what in brothers una sisters unasikia kama mimi sitaki kuajiri mtu na ndana Unakuta umeachwa wewe una hesabu pesa. Ulipoajiliwa pesa ulikuwa na hesabu vizuri. Ukaendelea. Wande ukachukua mia moja ya lunch. Ukakaka. He ukakaka, ukawagaza kama mia ngapi? Ati pesa ni nyingi mkubwa hajui. Ukaenda hivyo, ukachukua giri mbili ya viatu ni bebu huku naye lakini shetani alipoingiza badara ya wilaani na utubu ulilea kuna rebelliousness ya kulea kitu katika mwili na akili na tabia ambao inachomoka tu as you grow up or as you are exposed hello praise god bwana asifiwe sana bereni we ni mwanaume ungekaa tu na wadada na una shida siku hizo ukikaa na wadada uko na problem kubwa sana tamaa siku hizo ukikaa we ni mama ukikaa tu na wanaume uko na problem bereni haikuweko hii hali ya jambo kutokea na huku ipinga umeilea hiyo ni shida moja inaitwa rebelliousness na tafadhali ina shida kubwa bwana atusaidie sana amen things to clear for blessings to the day another day by God's grace God's grace ni mambo ambao if you clear them jehova atajimwaga maisha ni mwako hallelujah na hayo mambo yanatokea kanisani unashidwa kwa nini wadugu hawedi bio kwa nini dada wedi bio hello praise god kwako nyumbani hakukuwa na issue kwamba mtu azachelewa na ibada we mama ndio ulianza do you know leo ukirais family ambao tagu mwanzo haujakuwa mulegefu tagu mwanzo tagu nini utaona watoto wako hasa nyinyi wa mama they are serious ibada tagu mwa watoto wadogo wao wadogo ni six hata kuwe nini hata mkiwa shosho ni six children grow si, si wanakuwa hiyo kitu na ndani yao Ukikaka waone unaenda saa moja. Wanagoja na sio ndo wanapikia chai. Waone hata huko enda. 
kwa jia hapa ujui hiyo mbego naingia liberiousness sometime ni kitu kinapandwa na hakukaki kupingwa nitamai liinuka na haikushushwa watch out we need the cover amen bwana asifiwe berendi ulikuwa na amka saa tisa unaomba siku hizi hata we siku hizi hata unaamuka saa moja ndio na eh kadia wera husiki anything husiki kuna kitu ulikuwa nacho cha Mungu tabia ya kiungu ilipoanza kuharibika haukucheck ndio urejeshe hao ndio mambo yanazia tubarikiwe naomba kila mtu arejeshe misingi na mipaka ambao itasaidia kubarikiwa amen kwa maana Mungu anapobariki halo lazima apate ni wapi anamwaka baraka May God bless us together by his grace. Hallelujah. Tutaona ingine kama inaitwa attitude. Na kuna ingine naita the spirit of defeat. Na ingine naitwa uh, nira. These things ambazo you clear them. Clear them. Na niwaambia hivi, enda sasa. Nataka muende. Anything ya kigeni ambao si original ambao kwa ujaja wa shetani imekuwa introduced kwa mwili wako kwa nyumba yako kwa attitude yako enda sasa mungangane mpaka yodoke amen kwa watu kieda hivyo for years to come utakuta kwamba badara ya kujenga kuna mambo itaita shida now can you imagine sasa huni msichana amelegea huni kijana and that's why inaenda mpaka binti yako mali ataolewa au kijana wako ma akioa itakuwa ni combination ya two weak people ambao hawajali mwai kuona sasa siku hizi watu wafanya harusi na huoni tena pako na hata hakuna shughuli hata wakikosa ibada wakatebe sijui game park si issue kwao have you ever seen kuna attitude imeanza hapo haikuweko mkijua ikanisa miaka 70s issue ya kwamba mtoto haokoki mtoto afanye harusi ikuweko unaona familia yote watoto ah. kiroho ilikuwa ni kitu cha maana tukaza kuwa na ujaja tukasema hapana si mambo yote kiroho si mambo yote kiroho mambo yote kiroho Uh, kiroho unakuta kuna uadui watu wako naye bila kujua hello praise god ati unaweza chelewa kwako ufike saa ine usiku ukiwa umetembelea anti yako ukichelewa ufike saa ine usiku kwa maana ulikuwa naomba ni makosa have you seen that ukichelewa kwa sababu ulikuwa umeenda kuona binti yako kaliyo bangi uje saa tano shishida lakini ukichelewa kwa maana ulikuwa umekaa masaa matatu you intensive the family kanisani hiyo ni dhabi kuu na unakuta hata wao umeokoka umechelewa wapi nimechelewa nilikuwa ni nimeskini niombea family nimeombea for about two hours sawa hiyo ni shida hii mambo ya kanisa taki hii hii mambo yenu na kina bishop kiakata kwa baba ni haya umechelewa wapi nilikuwa nimeenda uh, kwa your sister hasa kwa your sister nilisikia kumsalimia oh akoje eh hey. amekuwa salamu na kuna na niambieni kwa jia hapa watu hawajui we are destroying the ministry si umeoa ukiambia mke wako amechelewa mkiiba sifa hapa tulikuwa na practice ya pillars of pillars in praise paka saa hii saa tano sio issue Uh, iyo ni hicho kubwa sana. Sasa hii mnaiba mpaka na hii hii kiroho ina mpango. Ha sawa. Uchelewe sasa ulikuwa umeenda kuona kazi ni yake ambao wako na homa kidogo. So oh asante. Ndio kana kona dabe jabe oitu haloroya. Bwana sema siku za mwisho watu watakuwa na ubinafsi watajipenda inaitwa self self worship self do you know leo ukipiga magoti hapa mandi 
uombe mpaka saa ine ni hasara kwa watu wengi hasara kubwa the same same ata kwa sababu mechara hiyo sasa ni hasara the same same person akicherewa afike saa ine kazini kwa maana alikuwa ameenda kuna mama maina sijui kuchukua furana mama maina sadi alibaki na na, na sijui nywera yangu ni nini kwa maana hiyo sio issue both ni kucherewa ya maobi dio shida is it true yes kwa jia fulani kuna mambo inaendelea about mungu akiwa kwa kicha enzi anaona paka wa, inaudu wakati wa maraka inasema anje wapi kicho changu when god demanded his respect akasema governor wenu mukimperekea kodo aliyekilema atachukua and that god said na mimi je kwa nini mnaniletea kodo na mnyama aliye na kilema kid about hamwezi perekea even your governor ni atea god said where is my fear where is my worship nataka wapendo wa mungu asione kwamba hajapewa heshima yake i i, I said to you restore the order blessing should be very clear connected according to god hakuna mtu hapa atakayokuwa amebarikiwa kabla hujaokoka ugeitwa maskini kabla hujaokoka tukisema maskini na nini lakini zote tulipookoka tulikuwa na equal rights in the promise to be anointed and to be rich kuwa na magai na manyumba kwa nini umekaa mika kumi huna leo zihubiri jiri yako na ubiri ya Yesu mwanzo mzee akuambiwa akina Jamila ndio anaambia hizo hizo na nyimbo saba jipe moyo atakabali kubaya sasa yangu si hivyo mimi nawaambia watakiwa kubarikiwa wo haiwezekani nihubiria mtu last year saa hii nimeonea na wewe nimekuhubiria miaka 20 na ushike kitu there's something wrong nani haoni kwani mungu ni mungu wa upendeleo hata kama tufanani jameni we hata kama tufanani bwana tuko area zone moja eh si ndio hata kama tufanani at least tuko zone moja tunaweza wabana maji hey haleluya tunaweza hata tu hapa moja tuseme twende hodi dubai na tudiri tunaweza panga twende america tukaone kazi yetu huko na, na tunaenda zote nani Hala, please god nani alisema wewe unaweza pewa visa huyu anyimwe anyum, there's something there are things to be solved things to be cleared for blessings amen things to be things to be kuna kijana alikuja hapa let me finish by saying this alikuja hapa muke na muke mume na muke hapa the bishop we want to join this church tumeumia sana mahali tulikuwa kama stop it mlikuwa wapi kanisa fulani mlifanyia harusi wapi kanisa hiyo nani aliwasaidia sana bishop hiyo kanisa kwa hiyo mmemwacha ah, tumeona tu ni kama hana mafuta kama nini kabia hapana mtarudi haos kuna kodoo zingine si nzuri hey, mgoshoka hao akika hapa mtasikia shida rudi nakabia hivi i know that bishop kama mtakuja hapa fanya hivi number one nataka mama na mzee mchukue the bill sacrifice fanya shopping mzuri nunia mchugaji suti mzuri and then msalimie number one do you know walitoka akawaambia sina shida na nyinyi lakini mgeni heshima hiyo neno limewakura jameni wamegojeka biashara zimeisha nikawaambia edeni mwaambie ile neno liogea mchugaji rekebisha tafadhali mwaambie hata kama tumeenda you are bishop tutakuwa tukija kukuona ukiwa na jambo bishop tuwalike tuambie tuambie sisi watoto wako alifurahi akawabariki from that time watoto wako jeki biashara zimebarikiwa there are things to be cleared friends amen hamwezi kana mke wako mnasema eh bishop mbona ali eh ni kama huyu anajikojolea na bisha fulani kizimpa mpasia pampas bana na mzee fulani kama naona jicho moja nilikuwa nimeingia shidano never allow that in the church 
Never allow that in your family. Utaletea nyumba yako laana. Munakana mstana fulani anasema, "Na kanisa hizi siku hizi ni kama mtu ana akili. Tamaa mbona yeye ndaka kegosha ri?" Do you know they are not in that woman? Do you know? Mungu alimchomoa wapi? Ni wao alimuokoa. Hiyo miguu ni wao alimpa. Utaleta rana kwa family. Alafu kesho za baba ni bariki ni bariki ni bariki. No dise genya mtumishi wake. Please clear your mouth. Clear your discipline. Clear your habits for blessings friends. Muka wa, wa job aliogea kabla. Stop it. What is your gear kama mama mataifa? Job cleared the family. So mimi tushukuru Mungu. Baba tunakupenda. Tunakuheshimu Mungu wetu. Can you tell God God nina haki ya kubarikiwa. Naomba tu Mungu nisamehe. Naomba baba mambo fulani katika nafsi yangu na nyumba na nyumba yangu unipe upako i want to clear them now i want to clear these issues i want to clear these issues aye masheke ne makata posota clear for blessing areas to clear areas to clear for blessings sherere barando no bosaka tapa paposika tapa bosaya reposota rina makasha tapa bosika we bless you lord we bless you lord Mwao ni mwako nasikia katika mabri ya leo kuna ajabu nasikia ugataka kufanya either urudie urekebishe au ugataka tuungane turekebishe madhabahu fulani kama vile Gideon alirekebisha I would like us to brief God together kama una ajabu kama hilo and you are serious and you are determined to be blessed ino mkono tu juu tu na wewe na uamue baba katika jina la Yesu najua mimi ni mtumishi wako Bere zako tukiwa na wapendo hao kuna mambo unataka tuondoe kuna mambo unataka tuongeze kuna mambo unataka turekebishe kuna madhabahu unasema iondolewe ya, yako iwekwe katika jina la Yesu na sasa kwa uwezo wa damu ya Yesu mambo haya baba yatendeke katika wote walioamua leo katika Kristo mwana Mungu aliye hai hala masheke nema tima seke te pasuka my god our father yoyote ambaye ameamini mtende ukombozi wako kwa maana wakati umefika we clear issues for blessings bana wengi tumekimbia tukaishia jiani tumesunga mbele miaka na miaka tukakauka lakini leo tumejua una mambo ambayo we clear tuwe na haki kama wana kurithi na kubarikiwa bila uoga tuwe na mashaka kwa moseka taraba rima sindi rima sanda our god we honor you neno hili baba ulifuate likuletee utukufu in christ we pray katini sasa